Hey everybody, look at it. We just got two games left. Wonder which one it's gonna be. Cause remember I've been <laughs> doing my Steam Summer Sale games. Door kickers. Alright, let's let's kick some doors. Let's do it. Alright. Hey everybody, so yeah, I've just been playing Action Squad for a bit uh, because I found that I enjoyed this game. At first, I was like, no, <laughs> this is this is not it because it reminded me too much of like cheap knockoff bro force. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you've ever played Bro Force, you know that that game is awesome and hilarious and just a true joy to play. Like, a great, great game. Um, but also, you know, it's, it's, it's very tongue-in-cheek. It knows what it is. And uh, at first, it was like, ugh, this door kicker's action squad because there is a door kickers 2 um also i realized today that i had this as two different games door kickers and action squad and i was like what wait what now they're but they're the same uh yeah i'd had that wrong on my spinning wheel for since the beginning really so uh shame on me for not recognizing sooner anyway Regardless, uh, so my first impressions with this game, because it tells you right off the bat that it's been released on iOS and Android in addition to PC, Mac, uh, Xbox, and PS4, I think. Anyway, regardless, like, uh, yeah, I, uh, if a game is good, I don't mind that it's a mobile game, I just don't want my... PC games to ever feel too mobile game-ish, if you know what I mean, and hopefully you do, hopefully you're like, yeah, no, exactly, I don't want it to be too mobile game-ish. If it's a game that was a mobile game and is now a PC game, like, why is so mobile game-ish? Uh, anyway, so yeah, as I started playing Door Kicker's Action Squad, um, I'm just gonna call it Door Kickers from now on. I hope we're all okay with that. That I don't include the part after the colon. Anyway. So, yeah. Door Kickers, uh, I start playing it and I'm kind of disappointed. I'm like, you know, I just keep dying and this is not that fun and I wish I was playing Bro Force. And that's how I felt at first. I was like, bleh. You know, uh, but then the leveling system starts to kick in, uh, and you know, your, your character starts to get a little better and a little better. And even in the footage that you are seeing, I've only made it three levels in. I put some time into this. I'm not saying an insane amount of time, but you know, some time, uh, an hour. I put an hour into this and was able to make it to the third level, you know, and the stars with which, you know, how in Angry Birds you get, you know, one through three stars when you complete a level, uh, you know, depending on how well you do. Um, in this case, in this game, it doesn't tell you, but it's pretty obvious. Uh, don't die. Um, <laughs> don't. Um, uh, shoot any of the hostages, you know, that's a no-no. Uh, don't get shot yourself, and you're good. You know, and, like, the game didn't really hold my hand at all, you know, because it's reasonably difficult. And, um, yeah, because I'm playing with the character who is the easy one. I didn't realize that until I'd already leveled him up like to level five or something and I was like wait easy uh, normally I like to play on normal mode whatever's normal but that was the default character 
Uh, but yeah, there are multiple characters who all have different fighting styles, different ways of approaching levels. You've got to watch out if you pick the Breacher because he has a shotgun. Don't kill the hostages. It becomes entirely too easy to shoot through a baddie and into one of the hostages and kill both of them. You know, it's just, you watch what you're doing if you choose the Breacher. Um, anyway, so yeah, <laughs> there, there are different characters, different character types. Uh, Off-duty guy I played as. There are a couple I haven't even played as yet. Uh, but they all have interesting things that they can do. And yes, they do make the game easier or harder on the basis of how they attack and whatnot. Now, as you make your way through each level, you score tactical points. And the more tactical points you get, that's that silver bar up at the top that has little pictures under it of the things that you unlock. You unlock things like a shield. Uh, you unlock, you know, extra health. Uh, you know, like a med pack. You know, an extra life. Um, you know, uh, renewing your gear. Uh, there are all sorts of other things that you can unlock and depending on your character, depending on how leveled up they are, those things that they unlock can be different. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of little, you know, nooks and crannies of the game. There are little nuances, bits and bobs that, you know, that say, hey, I know that you came here because you have played Broforce and we get that. Like, we understand, we know what we are. Uh, we're door kickers and we're a different thing. We're still pixel graphics and 2D infiltration and shooting because that's, you know, exactly describes Broforce as well. But it, you know, the leveling is what makes this one different. And the leveling becomes fun, you know, as you do it. Every Even when you die, you can still uh, level up and make your character better. It's a little like Castle Crashers in the sense that uh, in Castle Crashers you have all the different characters, you know, the different colors of knights that you can play as, and the more you play as one, the more you level that one up. And, uh, you know, it affects how easy or difficult the game is Mission and uh, which bosses you're able to beat, etc based on how leveled the character is. So, yeah, very similar concept. And once I realized that, I was like, oh, okay, this is like Castle Crashers with guns, you know, which isn't a bad way to sell this at all. Like, Castle Crashers, who doesn't love Castle Crashers? Like, that game is fun. It's just a fun game. It's a fun time. It's cute. It's funny. The first time that you see that deer, uh, like, propelling himself with the power of him crapping so hard when he sees the behemoth coming after you, like, hilarious. That game is so funny and so fun. This game, like, I will tell you this, could use a little more humor. Uh, has some funny things on the very first level. Like, there's a Christmas tree, and you can interact with it, and you can decorate the Christmas tree, which is hilarious. Um, I wish there were more things like that in this game. There should be at least, like, two of those every level. Like, go flush a toilet, go, you know, uh, I don't know, lots of other things. Just interact with the world. Uh, you know, open a Christmas present or something. Like, I turn on the sink it doesn't matter like just more interaction with the world uh would be fun and funny and and i would appreciate that uh that's just one thing but uh yeah there is a little bit of that maybe there's more of that on level four i wouldn't know i didn't make it that far uh and there are multiple campaigns so there are a whole lot of levels in this thing and there's a level builder so, and you can download levels that other people have built. So like, yeah, 
there's more to this game. You can just, if you like it, you can get a whole lot more of it, uh, which I like it. I just, I need to level up my guy, I need to level up my guy to where I can, you know, start getting some more stars. Like by the very end of the footage, probably much farther into the footage than you will see because I don't intend to blather as long as I collected footage for the game because I was like, no, I'm going to unlock that other gun. And I did, I eventually did. Um, and it was slightly better. And I got through uh, to the fourth level and uh, then I immediately died on the fourth level. <laughs> so, you know, like you, you do have to grind the game a little bit. And so if you don't like that, then, you know, you're not going to like it as much. But you know what? You do have to grind Castle Crashers. You know, you got to go play the same stages a few times to level up your dude so that you're leveled up en enough for the next boss. Like, so, and I don't hear people saying a lot of crap about Castle Crashers. Uh, most everybody loves it, so... <laughs> You know, it's the same deal. Um, I don't mind grinding. Like, you know this about me. I'm a grindy sort of fella. Uh, because I like the grindy RPGs. Always have, always will. Um, I'm on Final Fantasy VI now. I finally beat five, and I'm on to six. And I'm playing the Pixel Remaster version because about the physical copy of the pixel remaster on the switch that was entirely too expensive by the way like nintendo if you're listening or square enix like hey hey that was very expensive you need to calm down this is not me like buying a copy of you know final fantasy tactics uh on the used market like th because that game yes is very expensive it's harder to get it that you know you're buying a used copy from back in the day yeah got it okay but if i'm buying a new copy today of an of an old game like cut me some slack jack <laughs> that's that's all i'm saying all i'm saying there Anyway, back to the lecture at hand. Uh, door kickers. So, yeah. Door kickers, um, it's a little grindy. I don't mind me some grindy. Uh, we we so just ready. talked about this. So, in case you wonder, I, I do like the grind. Um, so, I don't mind that as much. Uh you know, I wish that uh, the controls were a little tighter. Like, there's some mushiness, a little bit of mushiness. Like, maybe that needs to be improved accuracy or something. Maybe that's an in game thing, but like, my guy's a little mushy. Um, not super mushy, but like, it, it just, it could use a, a tweak. Uh, so yeah a lot of things in this game are like they're kind of getting there you know like <laughs> that's what it feels like is like mm, okay you're your own thing and you're pretty much there you're like pretty solidly there you know <laughs> but it's not a hundred percent there it's not exactly exactly uh what it should be maybe door kickers 2 is all I ever dreamed of and more. Uh, I don't currently own it, so we'll have to get it and see. But my goodness, like, it is fun and it is addictive and it is one of those where it's, you know, when you die, you know what you did that caused you to die. You know the tactical choices that you made and now you have to rethink the level. Be like, hold up, what did I do? 
what should I have done? You go back, you make it right, you do what you gotta do. And all of the power-ups, upgrades, like, you know, eventually you get grenades and stuff. Um, I got the opportunity to use my ultimate, like, only once in the game, but I took out a whole bunch of dudes with sniper fire, which was awesome. Like, I, I really enjoyed that little wrinkle of the game. So, yeah, having an ultimate is pretty awesome. And uh, I enjoy, like, that it took some, you know, you have to make some serious tactical choices in the game to get to a point where you can use that super. But by the time you reach that point, you do need it. Like, so it, it comes in handy that way. And I like it. So, yeah, like, I'm... I'm really good with uh, how this game levels itself. Um, I wasn't at first, but then, like, I didn't realize that there was a leveling system. I just kept hitting restart on levels that I kept dying on, you know, because I was like, come on, it can't be this hard. Come on, we got to do this. <laughs> and, and I didn't realize. So... I leveled up my first few levels all at once. You know, I had like six skill points to spend or eight. Maybe it was eight. Anyway, because maybe it was level four that I realized like, oh, I've been leveling up. I need to spend these points and make my guy better so I can beat this level. And this was before I even started capturing footage. Uh, it would have been funny if I had captured the footage of me realizing like, Oh, there's a leveling system. Well, that changes everything. And it does. Like, it, it legitimately does. That's what makes this game what it is, is the leveling system. And so, um, yeah. It's, uh, it's fun to play. It's fairly addictive. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, that much is true. There are some things in here that drive me a little batty but it's super fun uh for just a sit down play a few levels shoot some baddies and you know like i i look at this as a pick it up put it down i don't look at it because you have the like levels and you're trying to get three stars and because it was made as a mobile game and mobile games in their nature are supposed to be pick them up put them down so yeah that's where I am on this. I, I think that that's uh, what it is. That it's uh, pick it up, put it down, and uh, fun. It's a fun time. But, you know, I, I don't know that I'm going to sit down and have a long session where I, you know, try to completely beat every single level in this game. I think it's just, you know, you play it every once in a while, and over time, you're going to get better and better and accumulate more stuff and then then pretty soon you're you know pretty strapped so yeah that's the hope uh let me put a final score on this and stop rambling and then we'll wrap this thing up oh before i do sorry I had it paused, I was starting to create the title card and everything, like, and then I realized, oh, I didn't mention, there's a zombie mode, which it, at first was a little disappointing, and I was like, what? This is just the regular game, but with zombies all of a sudden, and then when I realized, like, wait, there's zombie portals, and you gotta close the portals, and, you know... It, it just added a little wrinkle that at first I was kind of annoyed and then eventually I was like no this is fun you go back and play levels that you've already beaten but with zombies and it makes it more fun to go revisit a level that you've already done and you can grind for that XP on your character too so like why not why not zombies uh, there's another mode that's like totally mayhem and it acts like it's randomly generated it is not like um 
because the start of that level is the same every time. You kick the door, guy hides behind the chair, making him hard to get. As soon as you kick the door open, he throws a grenade. You gotta jump over the grenade and go shoot that guy, but not get too close to the Christmas tree, which explodes. Yeah, I played that level multiple times. I know exactly what happens, at least in the beginning, because I kept dying, like, immediately. Uh, so, yeah, I think that mode is for when you've got your guy leveled up. But there are other game modes as well. Now let's put a score on it. Okay, so for door kickers, we are going 7 out of a possible 10 Ram Bros because we do have to compare this game to the Broforce. Broforce, I score much more highly than this. It's way more fun. Um, but Door Kickers is a special little guy. He's the little engine that could do a lot of things pretty well. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, seven out of a possible ten. Solidly solid for this game. Anyway, people, that's going to do it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.